welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my channel. This week I'm going to be giving you a tour of our private tack room. So if you've watched some of my previous videos then you will see that our tack room is at the back of our stable and there is no natural light in here which means that it is quite dark and hard to film in. So I did try my best with the filming and I used the flashlight for some of it so I'm sorry if it isn't that great quality or you can't see everything really clearly but it is really difficult to film in there because there is only one light in there and no natural light at all. This is just our private tack room. We just have one horse and it isn't anything special or extravagant. It is literally just where we keep all of our stuff. But I thought I'd just show you all how I organize it and how I arrange it and all the storage tips and tricks that I use to keep it looking tidy. A few of you have asked to see our tack room in the past and I always enjoy watching other tack room tours. So fingers crossed that you enjoy this. And if you do, then please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. The plan is just to crack on and give it a tidy up. It has got really messy over the past few weeks and I like to keep it all organised. Um, luckily the shelves that we have have stayed quite tidy um, because I have boxes and stuff for different items. Um, but things like this and uh, my grooming kit and whatnot are just kind of all over the place. So I'm just going to give them a tidy up and a clear out today. So as you can see everything's kind of just thrown in and then it's the same again for our drawers. There's everything just kind of chucked in um, which really irritates my OCD. Um, but luckily the shelves have kept quite tidy just because of the boxes that I have. So I'm mainly going to focus on the drawers and this and then just give it um, an all round tidy up. Okay, so I've just finished the back of the door. All I've done is just empty out each one of these compartments and I've just basically thrown the just onto the floor and I'll sweep that up afterwards. Um, and then I've just put back in the inserts to kind of keep it shape. To be honest, I'm probably doing a new one of these and I will buy another one. Um, I think this was only about five quid from eBay. So I'll link that somewhere either in the description or on the screen somewhere now as well if you want one. And it's just really handy to have on the back of the door. In here we have um this is what we use to do her water buckets clean them out and a hoop pick with a knife as well for cutting our hay bales and here it's fly spray and washing up liquid hair carrots and a bottle of water for me and then just a towel that we use and then i also have her lunge line here so i just tidied that up and hung that back up as well um, I did contemplate putting her lunging aid on this side but to be honest I think it'll be too long and it'll just get trapped in the door so I'm just going to leave that free for now and then when I bring like a jacket or something I'll put that on there anyway. So that's that bit done. Actually I think I'm going to put her field head collars on that hook on the door so that it just makes it a bit neater. This brown one is her field safe head collar. It is velcro so she can pull it off she just wears this if someone else is due to bring her in just to make it easy for them and then this one is just a bit with a headpiece on that is just for mainly when we started turning cody out and she's a bit strong so i'll put that one on there as well okay so next for these drawers that we use the most is absolutely rank everything has just kind of been left to do its own thing and that one's half no it's not um <laughs> it's kind of just been left to do its own thing in there so i'm going to give these um a clean out and just kind of reorganize them <laughs> I've just sorted through the drawers and I got a few of these nails and one of these things off of the trailer from the top drawer so they will go in this little box up here that I'll show you in a minute and that's where we keep all of our kind of DIY stuff so I've just put them on top there for now and 
in the top drawer we have carrots for Cody and then in this tin is a I'll show you chalk I can get in yeah so in this tin is chalk and, and this is for writing Cody's name on the turnout paddock so we use this quite a lot so I've just kind of kept everything that we use the most uh, in the top drawer in the next drawer down I've just put all of our high vis and hacking out stuff and um, I've put the stuff that we use the most at the front and then the ones that we use the least towards the back so that's drawer number two in the third drawer we have a few different bits and bobs we've got a couple of bandages some tail bandages Cody's roller a spare lead rope and then a bit of sheepskin for if I need to put it on her lunging aid if it's rubbing her and then we've got a few tail guards here which we use quite a lot and then underneath that I've just put Cody's side reins in there too so there's a few different things in that drawer this drawer isn't very interesting it's just some saddle covers for Cody's saddles if I need them if it's raining and then in this bag is Cody's cold water boots, I won't get them out because they are wet, but those are just to go on when she's done strenuous exercise, um, so they stay in a plastic bag. And that is all of the drawers, I'm just going to quickly give them a dust off because they are quite um, dirty, and then I will move on to the shelves. So my plan now is to hang these numbers that I've been using recently back up. Here I've got, I've just taken an old um, like broom sweeping brush, um, taking a handle of that and my boyfriend zip tied it to the shelves that we have for me and I've just taken normal hangers and this is how I store my numbers, it's a bit messy at the moment so I'm going to just tidy that up and then hang up these um, ones that I've been using recently again and then also we have some whips as well I'm planning on getting a crop holder for them but I've not got one yet so at the moment I'm just kind of sitting them on um, the handle up here so I'll show you that <laughs> pads are all nice and neat and organized now and i thought i'd just show you all these um storage kind of boxes that i had bought from amazon so i think these were about 11 pounds i can't remember if they were 11 pounds in total or 11 pound each but um these are really good because they can hook on so i've hooked two of these onto this shelf and this is how i store cody's boots so these are her schooling boots she's got some tendon boots um there's some spare overreach boots at the back of that one um her fetlock boots some bandages and some more bandages and then for now i'm just kind of hanging my riding hat onto this but i don't know if there's going to be a better way to store my riding hat or if anyone has suggestions on how they store their riding hat then please comment them and um, because i feel like it's just a bit in the way here but then i don't really know where else to put it and i don't really want to hang it like against a wall because i don't want it to get damp so i don't know just let me know in the comments if you have a better way of storing your riding hat so it is more aesthetically pleasing next i'm going to tackle this bit below the shelves so it's kind of just spare feed and some shavings and my mum's boots and then a stool so it's all kind of just a bit random and um, so i'm just going to tidy it up a little bit we have got a feed bin on the way for her feed bag so then hopefully that'll be um less messy to look at because they'll be in a feed bin so just for now i'm just storing it there so i'm just going to give it a little bit of a tidy up <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you what we store up on Cody's shelves. It's mainly just boxes full of different bits, but I like to keep them organised. So I will show you how we categorise each one and what we keep in there. Over here in the corner, I just have welly boots for when it is muddy in the fields in winter. So I just keep them up there. These are spare buckets, feed buckets, water buckets, because um, you can never have too many. So we just keep them up here. So in this green box is our first aid kit. Um, this is first aid for humans. We keep Cody's first aid kit in the car. And well, you could probably use some of this on Cody as well. I think it's important for everyone to have a first aid kit just in case. Bandages. We keep a syringe, some spare soap, and some toilet roll, and some plasters and whatnot. So yeah, that's what we keep in our green box. 
this is just some spare speedy beat for cody this bucket is our washing off bucket so if cody is sweaty or hot after a ride this is what i use just to cool her down so i've got a sponge and a sweat scraper in here and i just like to keep that separate from her water buckets just so that they don't get mixed up because i don't like the thought of her having to drink out of buckets that have had um her sweat in essentially the orange bucket is the bucket that we use if we do make up speedy beat for cody just so that we remember that it is speedy beat and it has to be soaked 24 hours beforehand so yeah we just keep this in the orange bucket so the next shelf down we have my riding boots i am hopefully going to get a boot bag soon so that they are better kept but to be honest they're just my riding at home boots so i'm not too precious about them um so i just keep them on the end until i get a boot bag and then this green box is where we keep all of our kind of electrical items um let me see if i can show you this without it falling okay so in the green box like i said we have the electrical items so this is if i can get it out this is cody's massage gun so we keep this in here um, I have a heat pad for her that is um, an electric one and then I've also got I think a spare power bank in case I need it for like my pivo or if I need it for filming and then I think we've also got a tripod in here as well yeah so just a tripod so again this box is just kind of um electrical items and bits and bobs that i will use um that need power so we just keep it in here to stop it from getting wet or damaged foundation boxes at the back are the ones that you saw before when i was cleaning out the drawers on the back of the door so they have um different pairs of gloves in them just because we have too many pairs of gloves so we have high vis gloves uh, mucking out gloves and then riding gloves as well so that's just where we keep all of the gloves okay so i'll show you what is in this little green box that we have i think if i remember rightly it is kind of just diy stuff and hardware stuff yeah so in the green box we just have a few different um like diy things and different bits and bobs um a light bulb some scissors a permanent marker there's a few different nails and stuff in the bottoms there as well these are some velcro strips velcro velcro strips that i like to use um just around the tack room because they're quite handy in here there's some nails as well and then this is a and then this is a bridle hang up as well so we've got a spare one of those um so yeah this box is just kind of different um miscellaneous diy bits and bobs that you always need okay the yellow box is for our lotions and potions that we don't use quite often keep stuff in here that we do use but not as much as um the other lotions and potions which is in the pink box so these are just kind of our different bits and bobs that we do use for cody sometimes but not all the time so she's got some tri scrub and bands these are um, a form of fly spray baby oil and then some arnica gel so just kind of different lotions and potions that we occasionally need for her but we don't use every day so i like to keep those all together in the yellow box and then lastly is the pink box and um, like i just said it has all of the lotions and potions that we do use pretty much every day on cody so she has some sun cream this is pseudocreme because you can never have enough of it and i use it on pretty much every kind of scrape that she has so pseudocreme sun lotion this is her hoof oil that we use um obviously i use this quite a lot now that it is getting towards summer and the fields are quite dry and hard this is the petroleum jelly that i use it's basically just vaseline two tubs of that because i actually use it every day or every single time that i ride her um and then we just have some pig oil that's getting pretty empty and that one's full so some pig oil and sulfur and i just use these on the backs of cody's feet mainly in winter and whatnot to kind of protect her from water when she's out in the field and so that's pretty much it for this side of my tack room now i am going to show you this end of the tack room but like i said there's only one light in here so it is really dark on this side of the tack room um so i'm not even sure if you can see this but what i'm going to do is give this side a clear out and then i'll just kind of run through everything that we have on this side and what we store over this side of the tap rooms <laughs> Then 
and I've just made a space down here for where our new feed bin will go. I don't know if you can see. So yeah, I've just made a space there for where our new feed bin will go and then those feed bags can be poured into that there. So that's why there's a gap there. So those are Cody's feed bins and then above we have her tack. So this is her bridal bag with her bridle in and then on the back there is her martingale. She has her jumping saddle at the top up there. This is her dressage saddle and then that is her GP saddle that we use for hacking as well. So I've just popped her high-vis sheet on there as well just to kind of keep it all together and keep it nice and neat. So this big green storage box is what we use for Cody's travel boots and rugs and just kind of different bits and bobs that we don't really use every day. So there's some nice brushing boots and stuff in there, her cross country boots are in there, um, just kind of different various items we keep in there just to keep it all neat and tidy and stop it from getting damaged. This also acts as our feed making area, so I keep a couple of Cody's feed buckets on here. Um, she has some more feed buckets as well, but she's currently outside eating her feed. So, feed buckets on there, the supplement that she has, I currently have a few different supplements on the way for her as well, so they will stay there. I'm thinking of putting a shelf or something above, so then I've got all of the supplements in one place, but I don't know, I'll get around to it. Um, this side we just keep the tools, this is my trusty red gorilla brush that I bang on about. If you follow me then you will know that I don't shut up about this brush and if you don't have one of these brushes then you need to get one because they're literally the best. This end of the tap room is pretty boring, it is just all of Cody's hay, we keep this stored so on our farm we have to supply our own hay um, and store it ourselves so we just keep this towards the end of the tack room then in the very far corner we have some spare tools and stuff so we usually use these tools in our trailer um, and we don't use them that often so we keep those in the back this is a yoga ball for Cody I mostly use this in winter when she would go in the winter turnout paddock and not have um, turnout in the field just to kind of keep her occupied um, down here are a few spare hay nets that we have and then in the bucket underneath is Cody's snap ball as well. Um, so we just keep that down there and I like to keep it all together. Underneath Cody's GP slash hacking saddle, I just keep our rain mark. Um, this is really helpful in winter or when it is pouring it down. We don't have an indoor arena either. So this is really handy because it covers all of me and pretty much all of my saddle. So I just hang this up in here. So that's pretty much everything up the far end of the tap room. Oh wait, I'll show you this actually. So up here I have a drying rack. I just got this from Bean and Bargains. I think it is just to go be radiator to hang towels and stuff on. But I use it for when Cody has um, worked really hard and her saddle pads are damp or just if I've got gloves that need drying out, bits and bobs that just need a bit of airtime and don't really need washing, I just stick them on there and then they're dry within a day. And I usually have another one that goes there but I've not had a chance to put it up yet, so yeah. I think that is pretty much everything for our very small but cute tack room. All nice and organised now. Um, it's not very interesting, it's not very big, it's not very extravagant. It's not like some of the gorgeous tack rooms that I see on Pinterest. Um, but it's our little tack room and I enjoy being in it, so... I like to take good care of it and keep it nice and organised. Oh, I need to sweep that up. Um, so I'm going to sweep it all out and tidy it up now but it was just a quick tidy up and just to give you a little tour round so that is pretty much it in regards to a tack room tour it's not very big so it's not much of a tour but i thought i'd just let you see kind of what we have in there and how we store it and how i like to keep it nice and organized and just give it a tidy up really obviously we only have cody so this is just all of her stuff if we were to get another horse another stable then that stable would come with one of these tack rooms on the back as well so we'd then get space for their stuff but this is just the space that we have for cody this isn't a shared tack room it is just for us and we're really lucky to have it at the back of our stable and have such easy access to it so yeah i hope that you've enjoyed seeing it Thanks for watching this week's video at Quines. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you have enjoyed the little insight into our very small, very normal tack room and how we organise it. If you did enjoy this video, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos. We post every Sunday at 6pm. 
Also, feel free to follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram name is Adele Equine. I will put it on screen somewhere now, and I will also pop the link to it directly in the bio down below. If you have any questions regarding the items in this video or the storage boxes that we use, then make sure to leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching this week's video at Quines. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I will see you in next week's. Bye!